What's up, daddies? Welcome back to the Bad Dad Vice podcast. This episode is brought to you by our friends over at Beer Stick. Beer Stick, two beers in two seconds. Bro, that thing is full. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's full. <laughs> and you know what it's full of? It is full of empty calories from the official beer of the Bad Dad Vice podcast, Voodoo Brewing Company. Voodoo Brewing Company, located in the heart of San Marco. Uh, other locations all over the United States. Voodoo Mama Brew Brew. I don't know where, I don't know where the <laughs> other Voodoo Mama Brew Brew. Voodoo Mama Brew Brew. <laughs> I don't know where the other locations are. One of them's in PA, right? Somewhere. Fort Myers. And yeah, they've got 20 Like Pittsburgh locations. or something like that. I don't know. But Robo did, Hella point, fun it time. Out. Robo did point it out. This beer stick is full to the max. This is the most beer that you can fit in a beer stick. And the reason why I've got it filled up all the way is because, boys, we are celebrating our 50th episode of this podcast. Hey! Yeah. Let's go. Now you can 50. say we made it. <laughs> made it. We made it. 50. We thought we were going to get four. Dude. And we've made 50. I still think we're going to only do four. Like, I can't believe we're at 50. Wild. Yeah. Do, like, Insane. now... We, we can go 50 more. And it's like, Let's what are we set the bar too high. I still don't 100? think we're going to get to 100. <laughs> and I think we, and the, best, the best thing about it is that we're sticking to our roots. And what are we doing right now? We are watching Thursday Night Football, Buccaneers, Falcons, mm. rooting for fantasy football. Uh, Robo's team is absolutely dominating. dominating. Me, me and Robo made a huge trade uh, uh, yesterday. And we're drinking beers on the couch, hanging out. It's perfect. It's the dream. Mm-hmm. What is the dream? What has changed in the last fifty episodes besides obviously our lives? You know, our weight, we've got probably our weight, my, no, our health. I'm, I've stayed pretty high. Our blood pressure. <laughs> we got a trophy now. Yeah, yeah. Get that thing out of this fucking yeah, um, it's trophy cursed. smack. It's yeah. cursed. Um, we've got some we, friends. We got beer stick sponsorship. We wait. We've got, also, if somebody's listening to this, they might actually hear an ad during this episode because we're. We have ads playing. Did we pick oh, that up? Oh, did yeah. we pick one up? We're making. Yeah, we've gotten we've gotten two uh, two ads. Uh, How come nobody fucking Go. tells me these things? Yeah, I it was in the group text. That. This is the group text. We have ads that There's are running. Too much so going on in the group text. Thanks for listening. Your reward for listening is thirty second break. Grandma. Ah, is ads. Naked grandma. Ads. <laughs> is naked grandma. All right, help me with this. All right, here we go. If you want to check him out, he is chugging uh, two beers. That's twenty four ounces in two seconds. Uh, you can watch us on the YouTubes, and you can see that beer stick in all of its <laughs> glory. Ooh. Yeah, that was pretty good. Stuff. I'm going to throw up. And um, <laughs> after that, that's pretty hard to uh, come back from. But wow. the other product from our friends over beer stick, <laughs> and the, the new cup of the day, UNF mm. cup, also Oscar fits baseball. over tumblers. I mean, look at that. Uh, the the beer this bro. thing pops off in your face. It probably will. The beer oh bro. God, so it, is the, like uh, on your pants. it is the silicone snorkel of choice for our beer drinkers that want to do the shotguns without all the mess and nastiness. This thing, I like this thing. This is a good guy. We're gonna. He's gonna be good to me, right? We're not gonna pop off. All right, good. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, check I us mean, out on the YouTube's, and you can watch him chug a beer through a snorkel. I mean, sweet talking the snorkel over sweet there. Talk. No, he like he like licks it. He like <laughs> yeah. like, like plays with it a little yes. bit. It's like oh, you're you're gonna be okay. Slap and tickle. Oh, man. You're gonna be all right. Sweet emotion. I really do appreciate all the people that watch this or listen to this. What a great! I mean, could you imagine, guys? We would never be doing this. Could you imagine yeah. being at home right if we now didn't watching have a football? We would never be. Doing I probably this. wouldn't be watching the game if I was at home because because Janie would be like. It's eight o'clock. Let's go. To I would bed. be I would be trying to watch the game, but I'd be so fucking amped up that my kids would be awake. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You would be crushing IHOP though. Oh yeah. Yeah. No doubt. So this it, is healthy for us. Yeah, this is healthy. This is way <laughs> less calories than I would have consumed at home. Empty yeah. calories. This Empty is, calories. This is but yeah. healthy as I've just chugged two beers <laughs> and I have a third one right here. Hey, you don't healthy. work you don't work tomorrow, so it's fine. I know. I'm going to SeaWorld. Hell oh, yeah. So excited. Uh, we'll get into that. But um yeah, as you guys know, um, we took last week off. We had, besides having a lot of like personal stuff just going on, everybody had different things going on. Obviously, hurricane. we had the hurricane. And um, yeah, so that was on the day that we were supposed to film. So we just kind of said, this, you know what? It's just, it's a sign. We need to take a week off. You know, it's as soon as you reach the mountaintop, which is uh, 50 episodes, uh, you, know, you start coasting. 
50 episodes. It's like, you know, you make it to the NFL, you get your paycheck. Eh, I'm just going to Jamarcus Russell this thing. Smart. <laughs> just watch defensive schemes. Uh, I'm that just, tape I'm just going to like, Trevor like, Lawrence. Like, I'm on, like, we've given abs. Like, hey, abs, look at this. And it's just like, it just says, like, abs sucks. And then you go, hey, what do you think? He goes, oh, this looks great. Oh, man, looks <laughs> good. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, Jamarcus um, Russell. All right, but but speaking of that hurricane, you guys are all South Florida guys. Everything everything good back home? Yeah, I mean, parents are East Coast. It's more of a North Carolina yeah, thing. Yeah. I know, dude. You know, Janie's family they live uh, in Hickory, North Carolina, which is about um, an hour outside of Asheville. And if you've been watching the news, you've seen Asheville got Asheville torched. got rocked. Asheville, I mean, well, I'll tell rocked. you what, Asheville more like Smashville. They oh. got they got smashed, dude. Too soon, bro. It was, dude. It it is. No, this will come out the next week. Oh, all right. yeah. Okay, <laughs> it won't be too soon then. No, it's uh, it's awful what happened out there. So, um, you know, prayers up to all those people out in Nashville and the For surrounding real. areas, and hopefully, Rowan, shout, uh, shout out to Angie Subs. Like the the owner of Angie's did a Trey hates them. I know he's not a big fan, but just okay. Shout out to that place. Shout, shout out to philanthropy. Philanthropy. Shout out to philanthropy. They they like collected a bunch of like canned goods and bottled water and stuff, and they loaded it all up into a trailer. And the owner like drove it up there and dropped it off at like a donation place because there's no apparently there's no roads in or, can't out. Get in or out. You can't get in or out. Um, one of the girls that used to play volleyball at UNF with Emily, I was reading like she had a Facebook post the other day. She lives just outside of Asheville, I think, and her town got destroyed too. Mm-hmm. But she was like, she like put a post on Facebook like, hey, yeah, like it's bad for us. But like, I know a lot of people in the Asheville area like still can't yeah. get a hold of them kind of thing. So it was like, yeah. it's wild just well, like Ash- seeing yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, Asheville is like, I don't know. I think it's like kind of similar to St. Augustine where like their number one money making thing is tourism. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, I mean, even like, like we, did, is we did the Biltmore. Like I saw a picture of like the gate that you drive through to go into like the Biltmore and the water was like fucking 25 feet high i mean it was like that's a pretty low but it's, it's like a mountainous area right so yeah, yeah. it was it was crazy and that's so, the crazy thing yeah. that people don't understand it's like yeah we get smashed here in florida but our environment is tailored to handle it we get 15 feet of storm surge it's gone in six hours the out there where it's all just bowled down in the valley there's nowhere for the water to go yeah, yeah. like flash floods yeah, are it's not like paintball pretty fields f- flash floods are kind of <laughs> freaky like when you live in like a mountainous kind of area and it's like all right there's just like like yeah. everything just gets washed away like that's yeah crazy. i've been seeing a lot of like videos and stuff online of like since nobody can get in or out like any rescue teams or anything like that they're literally like flying in with helicopters mm-hmm. and like putting people in crates and lifting them out of their house yeah and yeah. um we didn't we didn't talk about this earlier but i'll make the executive decision uh we did have um one of our buddies reach out to us and say that he has family up there who had um their house you know real wrecked and stuff so we'll probably put yeah he set up a gofundme for them we'll probably put it in the link uh underneath this video when it comes out um if it's still open but um if you know if you don't want to donate to us and do the daddy club or anything uh if any of our friends or family want to hop in on that um Feel free to hop in on that because, you know, good yeah. people. I've been there. It's a, yeah. it's a You've weird, done it fir- firsthand. It's a weird, it's a weird time. Like I, you lose your house and you go, I mean, initially, initially you think, all right, like, you know, it's just kind of like the, the craziness and like you're just trying to get out and they're still in it right now. They're just trying to like figure stuff out. Where's everybody? Yeah, get here, get there. And then about like, you know, maybe a week or two in, you like stop for a second and you just relax in and you're like, you know, just sitting like trying to get back to a normal routine. And then you go. Holy shit! Like I don't have I don't have a house. Like I don't have a house. Like I don't have anywhere to go to. Like I don't uh, like. There's nowhere to live, which is a really you get very comfortable having a house, mm-hmm. and then you take that away, and it's very unsettling. And it, then that unsettling feeling doesn't come in until you know two weeks in. And for a lot of people, you know, they might not have good insurance, or like they might have, you know, they might not have replacement coverage. They might just have, you know. Some other coverage for their for their homeowners insurance they might or like, I mean I don't know how often like floods happen they might not have flood insurance they might not right like, and, and like hurricane deductibles yeah. they might not have hurricane right. coverage the other thing yeah. the other thing I'm not hearing anybody talk about obviously because it's too early on but um when you had your house issues with the hurricane you suffered from almost PTSD from that for 
oh, yeah, a yeah. long time well, afterwards. And I can't even imagine like everybody once these people get their living situations figured out, this is going to affect them for years. Well, like this, this the hurricane that just came through, like I'm going to pretty I mean, I got like we built this house with concrete block, not wood, which is something that people choose in Florida. And it's like more expensive to do concrete block because I want to make sure it's like really solid and like be confident when these storms come through. And you guys were here. So you there's not you don't hear like mm-hmm. you're not noticing anything. But I was. We, and did, like, we did notice the transformer. Blowing. The transformer. The transformers <laughs> that are blowing. But like I'm hearing, you know, like if you, I, I could show you, there's like a 10 foot branch that's like on my roof right now that I have to get, you know, I'm not going to climb up there because of the roof angle, but I'm gonna, I got to get somebody to get it off. But I'm hearing all those branches hit. I'm mm-hmm. thinking of the, the electricity is going off. I'm going, okay, I got to get the cat and the dog and the kid. Megan's out of town. She's in Ohio during the storm. So PTSD is like, I still have it today. And that storm hit in. September of 2017 Se- I was starting 17. I started work in 2018 so, yeah. so but you didn't live there when that happened right no it no, happened Mac before was still living there 17 yeah. oh, 17 yes. I think September 2017 okay. that was uh Irma yeah. and it was yeah and I'm like still still you know seven years later it's like it's not every like a lot of people are calmed by the rain I'm, I'm unsettled by the rain and I used yeah. to be very calmed by it. I used to be like oh this is nice I like you know taking a nap when it's raining it's not calming. Anymore. I will say that this is the first time that um, I, I usually am pretty, you know, lies affair with all the things that go on during a hurricane. But having the kid in the house now and also Tiff's uh, breast milk out in the freezer out back. This is the first time I was like, damn, I don't have a generator. And that's kind of yeah. scary because yeah. we've had the AC go out where I had to do the emergency trip up to Tiff's parents house. And that was a nightmare and then you know we've got like two gallons of breast milk frozen in the freezer like when you're younger when you're in your early 20s you're like yeah it's the hurricane party what's your drink through this thing right it's like because if the power goes out and your roof comes off and it's like you're just like all right well i just it's not like you're gonna be fine it's not gonna it's not a not a tornado it's a hurricane right so it's like you maybe get wet but it's like you're fine then you get a little bit older maybe like your mid to late 20s you're like well this is kind of stressful because i have an animal like what do i do with my animal during a storm they might not like storms or you know if you have to evacuate you got to take your animal with you and then that's stressful and then like you get to the next phase and you're like i got a whole fucking family to to, de- to, to think about weird and feeling to, and yeah. then it's like eventually it's like what about your elderly parents or your elderly family members mm-hmm. then that's where it's really tough so that is where you go electricity might be the thing that keeps your insulin you know refrigerated it might be the thing that keeps you know, yeah. life-saving medical stuff for your pets or for your family or for whatever. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's, like, very serious and why a lot of times people will be like, you know, well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to hunker down. And you're like, okay, relax. Like, that's fine for some people and whatever. And if you have to get in a boat and go somewhere and you don't mind that, okay, cool. But that mentality for a lot of people isn't the right one because it can go bad in, like, you know, a second yeah. and then you just got to dodge drywall for three hours in the dark <laughs> or five hours whatever it was for me it was like three it was like i want to say it was like 3 a.m and you're just like yeah that's dark and dodge you know, you're, dry, you're dodging you Dude, know drywall I, and like, i remember I, that next morning so like the next morning after irma came through and like trey's house was destroyed he called me it was my house too i, lived I had too. you weren't there though it was my house too i lived he, there too. he called me <laughs> i lost all my shit like, too he called me and goes Hey, dude, uh, did you stay on this side of the ditch or did you go like inland at all for the storm? I was like, oh, no, we're here. I was like, I'm surprised I even have cell service right now because like there's no power. There's nothing. I'm like, yeah, no, we're here. He goes, hey, can you come uh, pick me up? Can I come hang out with you for a couple hours? I'm like, yeah, sure. I thought he just wanted to hang out. I get there. His roof is in his front yard. I'm like, what <laughs> the hell's wild. going on here, dude? That's he was probably that. at that point in such like a state of just like emotional I was, drainage. I was just... just Emotion drainage. I was just very tired. I yeah. remember. I remember. Yeah. Finally, yeah. Very tired. Yeah. I was very tired. I remember yeah, finally yeah. getting into yeah, the house. Yeah. 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 Totally. 
I remember, really I remember finally getting to the house and like you go up there with like, like, like the roof in the fucking driveway. You go in the house. It's like you can see the sky. You can see the sky like, and, and there's got, fucking pans on the ground. Sunroof. And he's got he's got pots and pans on the floor. I'm like, there's no fucking <laughs> roof. <laughs> Every drop of water is coming in this house and you got fucking pots and pans. I, yeah. think, I, think, I, I think he got like fucking cups. He does, what are you dude. doing? He right. a, he, I kicked a measuring cup when I walked upstairs. He goes, dude, watch out. I'm like, what, what are you doing? Trying to catch the water. I didn't know we were going to make this the, tr- the, the tray show, but the fact that we've gotten this far <laughs> and the viewers have don't really know the full story. Let me lay it out. So Irma comes through. It's not supposed. It's a m- massive storm that's supposed to hit like rip up the west coast of Florida. East it, coast, right? No, the west coast. It's supposed to go west, yeah. west coast. West coast. Oh west coast. shit! Oh yeah. So okay, it went. Okay. It went. Oh, yeah, down like Cuba, around through the Keys, and like it's like one of those storms where if you go look, at, if you Google like ominous hurricane pictures. Like this is it's the picture of Hurricane Irma. It was like so red and black and like ominous the way that it had formed. It was a it was a super hurricane. It was like category five. It was a super hurricane. Mm-hmm. And so you're like, all right, you're in the east. Um, Jacksonville's on the east coast, northeast coast. You're like, by the time it gets to Jacksonville, it's gonna be fine. And you can go to like the NOAA website to look at the wind speeds in your zip code, like right above your house. And so I go to bed, and it's uh. The wind speed at my house was supposed to be like the the maximum gusts were supposed to be like 60 miles an hour. I wake up at 3 a.m. to like bang, 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 which in hindsight was my roof coming up and down. Yeah. Hitting bang, 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 and then flying off. And I pull the first thing I do is I pull out my phone and I look at the no website because that was the last thing I looked at before I went to bed. And it showed sustained winds of 95 miles an hour right above my house right at that time. So I was like what like this is like a lot different than a gust it's sustained 95 which means gusting well into the hundreds and i again i think in hindsight that it was a a tornado that came through right over where i was basically like Mm -hmm. there was a tornado that kind of ripped through because houses to the north and the south were relatively untouched and there was a lot of destruction in a straight line um where, where our house was so when that happened i don't know that my roof is off i just know that i see some dripping from a uh, from everywhere an air you. conditioning <laughs> an air conditioning vent right I see, see, see some dripping and I go oh well Damn. I'm the only one in the house I'm going to mitigate the damage because I don't want to have to deal with like ripping out carpet and whatever so I go get a couple pots a couple things right and you start putting them out so it's like I hear a drip in my room because I'm on the third floor of a three story townhouse I put something down and then it's like I hear another drip and like I go get another pot but like the pot over there and I'm like alright well this must be like a big thing, like a big gash in the roof, and there's a lot of water coming through. But I can, this is fine. I uh, they start filling up a little bit quicker. Maybe there's one or two more. I'm like, oh my god, this is. I don't want to do this all night. It's like three thirty, three thirty in the morning. I'm like, I'm gonna have to do this, and I'm gonna have to run up and down three flights of stairs for the next five hours. <laughs> like I'm like, this just sucks because it's a lot of work. Is like what I was thinking in the moment. Not that my whole house was gonna be torn apart. I take the first uh, pot. And I pour it into the 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 tub, and like nothing really happens. But like, I hear like some dripping, like on the second floor. So I put the pot back. I go to the second floor, and I look, and there's like a there's like water like coming to the second floor. And I'm like, God, it must be getting like, how's it getting to the second floor? Like, what is going on? (laughs) So then like it's like more is coming. I go back up, and like I have like a trash can up there at this point, and I'm like, all right, I got to empty this trash can. So like quite a bit of water, maybe a third of the way full, and I go pour it in the in the bathtub and like i hear a crash on the second floor so i go back to the second floor and what had happened was when the roof came out the vent stack so for those that don't know construction all of your pipes vent to the roof for uh i don't know better flow i don't know <laughs> what the actual reason is gravity uh but like the the it all of your vents they go up through the roof so that's the little vent stacks that you see on the roof uh, what happened was when the roof came off, it ripped the vent stack and the entire piping system out of the of the thing. So when I poured the water into the bathtub, there was no pipe. <laughs> so it went from the bathtub directly to the second floor. All the drywall goes. And again, at this point, I'm very confused because I don't know that that's what happened because I still don't know that my roof is off. So all I know is I just poured water into a bathtub. It's 4 a.m. and now I have drywall on my second floor because <laughs> the water that clearly was in the bathtub on the third floor didn't go in the bathtub. I don't understand what's happening. 
around this time, I see flashlights outside. So I go look outside, and I'm concerned because the house to the south of us is a tiny little house. And I'm like, oh, my God. I look out. They're looking at the big mass in the driveway with their flashlights. And I'm thinking, oh, no, their whole house must have gotten wrecked and blown over like, you know, like the three little pigs or whatever, you know, Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> and I'm like, I huffed and he puffed and he blew that house fucking right those there over. Into those my are different <laughs> stories. I, I know. You, those are different stories. You want to? I know. That was Don't the, put them together. That was the point. That was, that was kind of the joke. It's not funny. Okay. What? <laughs> Don't combine the stories. Is Kennedy listening? Because I've also cursed a lot. So, yeah. She likes the hungry caterpillar. Ivy likes the uh, itsy bitsy spider. All right. Um, hungry robot. So I think that this house is in my driveway, and so I'm concerned. I, I go down to go make sure they're okay, and as soon as I walk out, they're like, ah, and I'm like, oh my god, these guys must be like freaking out. They go, yeah, hey, your roof. I'm like, <laughs> is this yours? I'm like. <laughs> What can, are you talking can about? Can you get your roof off my lawn? Like, what are you talking <laughs> about? My roof? And they're like, this is your roof. Come here. I'm like, what? And I walk over to them. And so half of my roof is in my driveway. And the other half is hanging off the side, like like flapping in the wind. <laughs> I'm like, that explains a lot. Nobody else is in my building. So there's three units. I'm the only one in the building. Uh, so nobody else is there to like say what's the damage that's going on in their house or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that was what happened. Drywall continues to fall all night. First the third floor and then all the insulation that gets wet and saturated. Then the second floor and then uh, the first floor was like the next day or the day after that. The funniest part of the whole story is that uh, the unit next to us was being rented by uh, you know these three girls, young, like in their 20s. And one of them was a, literally a meteorologist for the local news. Mm -hmm. oh, and geez. she told all of her roommates to put all of their stuff on the third floor <laughs> in fear of a flood. Because it's going to be bad storm, <laughs> storm surge. And, and she's not an engineer because our elevation was uh, 15 feet, which would not have really... Usually it's not like going to be affected if you're at 15 feet. So the engineer would have been okay. The meteorologist... All of their stuff got wrecked. <laughs> so it would have been fine if it was on the second floor because it didn't really get that bad mm. on the second floor. But the whole third floor was completely yeah, completely it's wrecked. Crazy. Um, so, so moral of the story, now that we're dads, it's like if they say evacuate, just like fucking do it. Like yeah, just, always, just, just leave. always lean on the side of and, safety and, and here, caution. And here's the, here's the deal. Like that, that's what makes like the whole Asheville thing even crazier though too, right? Like by the time the storm got there, Right. It yeah. wasn't like a, I don't think it was a hurricane anymore. It, like, I don't even by know. The time it got there, it was just like a I tropical think it, like, depression. I don't even know like, if they were like, told to evacuate. Yeah, I think no. it like I think it like got there, and, and then sat just like there. fucking stopped. It just yeah, sat so there. it just like rained there for like but like so three so, days. so, hours and hours so and in hours my and hours and it, for my situation, I was on First Street, so I was like right next to the ocean. I was one row of housing away from the ocean, but I was in a concrete block building in the middle unit with no windows on either side just a front and a back and then there's a building between me and the ocean that was a two-story building so really there are only three possible points of entry to be concerned with if you're worried about projectiles it's one window on the third floor a sliding glass uh, door on to a balcony on the second floor and a sliding glass door on the third floor that was it on the on the opposite side so three possible entry points into this place so i'm just thinking if one of them gets compromised i'll do something about it i'll put you know I'll, whatever i'll mitigate that damage not thinking that the again, roof was going to come off yeah mm -hmm. right so if if i had animals or you know any and like ivy uh kids anything of any age you gotta get out of there yeah mm -hmm. especially if they issue okay. a evacuation notice i know it's annoying do it and stop trying to be tough because you know that's not good what's what's crazy is so like you know, Duval County was really quick to shut down the schools Thursday and Friday. St. John's, uh, we closed Thursday, and then we they didn't close Friday until like six or seven o'clock Thursday night. And like, had had the schools closed Thursday and Friday, like I could see a scenario where Janie and I would have driven Gone up there. driven up to Hickory. 
Yeah. Yeah. And just say like like yeah, it wasn't supposed to be bad in Jacksonville and it really wasn't that bad here in Jacksonville. Um, you know, people lost power and stuff like that. But it wasn't like the worst hurricane that's ever come through Jacksonville, right? Definitely. Not. Um but like I could I could see a scenario where Jane and I would have gone up to North Carolina and it's like they like almost got it worse up there than Yeah. So, you know, it is crazy, but um yeah. Should- should should we post on social media the interview of me and the local news guy? <laughs> when we're, I was on the local news walking them through my house. Oh jeez, yeah. I haven't seen that. Yeah, Ben Ben Becker. Ben Becker. <laughs> he does yeah. the he does like the restaurant reporter. On yeah, the lo- yeah. He's, on the local the, news. he's the guy who like finds the cockroaches in the restaurant. He did, we did an interview oh, beca- because the neighbor was a meteorologist for the local news. Oh, uh, and like so they're like, hey, can well, you? Yeah, he had she, she had the end. Yeah, she had the end. So, I was, so I, yeah, so I was on the I was on the local news there. So maybe well, we'll, maybe um, we'll post that. Well, well, long long story short, um, we hope you know and anybody out there that listens from North Carolina, we hope you're all doing well, and uh, we hope a swift recovery. And um, that's pretty much it. And do you guys want to? <laughs> <laughs> pretty much it. All right, and that's the show. Uh, all right, <laughs> great. Yeah. All right. Uh, hey, well, that we'll, cover we'll, that covers we'll our topical. T- yeah. So we'll get back to our regularly uh, scheduled programming, and uh, we'll get into some updates. So, uh, anybody got any updates? Yeah, I've got an update. Oh boy, do I have an update for you? Somebody give me a mother flipping update. Uh, should we just do? I think we should rapid fire these. What do you guys think? Can we can we do a rapid fire update? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna go first. Ivy is about three or f- uh, not maybe not three or four. Maybe like I'm gonna say five or six swim lessons into learning how to swim. Nice. He is coming up on his second birthday, and it's funny because all he wants to do is do the things that like we do when we play in the pool. So the teacher is like trying to play, and he's like dong, dong. And she's like, <laughs> "What are you saying, dong, dong?" <laughs> She's like, what's he want? I go, he wants to dunk the basketball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you know she can't reach. And she, so, she, so she holds him up and she's like, <laughs> she's like four feet away. <laughs> He's like, dunk, dunk. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I can't help you, man. So that's uh, that's what we've been going through. Tonight, actually, we had a swim lesson. I completely forgot about the swim lesson. I like was going to go out to dinner with him and hang out because like Megan was working late. And I just ended up like getting Panera like quick, like I'll grab Panera, come home. Mm-hmm. We all sit down. We're ready to go. I take the first bite of my sandwich. Knock, knock at the front, knock at the door. I'm like, oh, oh shit, I got a swim lesson. <laughs> so yeah, we're doing. You got to wait an hour because he ate. Nah, he went right in. He's ready to go. He was That's only fine. like two strawberries in. So we just pulled him out. <laughs> all right. Rapid fire. Next up. Abs. That's hysterical. Um, all right. Well, the uh, uh, at daycare, Kennedy climbed out of the pack and play. So she had to. Uh, get promoted to the sleeping on the little cot mattress thing that like the big kids sleep on. Uh, and that's been going on for about three days. And, uh, she's been, she's been doing really well. Like she hasn't gotten out of it. Like, you know, maybe sometimes she like won't fall asleep right away or whatever, but, um, she's done, she's done really good so far. So, um, we're not in a rush to get her out of a crib into a mattress. Like she hasn't, really tried to cr- climb out of her crib and I think she likes her crib so um we're going to I was it. looking into that there's a, they say try to get it as close to 3 as you can Oh, I'm going to keep her in the crib. And, and I like, don't I don't know if I can make it to 3. We still they say. we still put her in a sleep sack too, which I think like that's part like obviously your feet are contained and stuff so it's probably a little bit more difficult. And the pack and play has like the mesh sides that you could actually dig your feet into a little bit to climb whereas like the crib has the bars with the slots. But but she's pretty strong, like upper body, like like that tower thing like that gymnast. you guys, the same thing that you guys have, the tower thing, like where they can be counter height and like, you know, chop fruit or whatever while we're up there. Like Kennedy chop can chop fruit. <laughs> fruit. <laughs> Kennedy has knife. Set. Hey, mince this garlic. You don't have, <laughs> Kennedy has a knife, like Kennedy cuts her own fruit. Like she has a knife set. Um, Fake fruit. No, real fruit. She like, cuts real fruit? I give her a banana and her knife. Yeah. And she cuts it. Yeah. Um, but the, Wait, what? Yeah, Kennedy has cut like, a banana, but not like anything else. Not like no, she's not cutting a fucking apple, not a strawberry either. She's right? not peeling a, a avocado, but she can cut a ban- she can cut a banana. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the uh, um, I lost it. Oh, so the tower thing, right? Strong. So so Janie was out of town this past weekend, so I was single dad. That was like the first time me having the baby by myself. Um, I was like doing something, and she's on the tower, and then like I turned back around, and she's on the counter. Yeah. Like she's not on the tower anymore. She's on the counter, yeah. so she can like 
just with her arms, like pick herself up and then swing her leg up or whatever and do that. So um, that happened. Ivy, because he, when you swim, they teach you elbow, elbow, knee, knee to get out of the pool. Now he's doing that to get out of his little now thing. He's to gonna get out. Get out of it. Yeah. Now he's going to get out of his crib. I know. Sure. Elbow, yeah. elbow, knee, knee. Um, the other thing, so Janie was gone that uh, last weekend. Um, and one of the things, it was like, you don't realize like the little things of that you do when there's two adults there with a the kid. So like I was texting Janie, I was like, you know, I take, you know, you take for granted the like that I can go put shit in the car. Right. Hmm. While Janie stays in the house. Bro, like with how the candy. heck are you supposed to drink right. a beer on or the couch? I can she? like I can cook dinner while Janie entertains Kennedy in the living room or I can take a shower while hmm. <laughs> somebody else is doing this and stuff like that. So like. So I so I texted Jane. I was like I was like oh that stuff that stuff is <laughs> tough. I couldn't do that. Yeah. So yeah, it's tough. Yeah. yeah but least, like at least when I had my <laughs> but at least, like, at least like, I, I mean I'm not like I'm not going to the bar. Like it's like I'm taking a shower. Like like Strat can watch both kids while you go take a shower, right? Come over and watch both kids. <laughs> you tell me. All right. How I mean I mean how long are you taking a shower? Don't be gone for longer than minimum of thirty minutes. <laughs> well, duh. Obviously, <laughs> duh. Like, gotta watch Netflix. Um, but the third update that I have. Janie and I are debt free. Yay! Let's go. Janie and I are de- 24, 2024 debt free uh, has been accomplished with months to spare. Yeah. So if anybody out there wants to feel motivated about some stick to itiveness, nice. we got to 50 episodes. Yeah. Yep. And Abs made a New Year's resolution. Yeah. And accomplished it in the year nine months. Nine, yeah, months nine months in. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Just just over Wow. Just over twenty thousand dollars paid off in, in nine months. And but what are you gonna celebrate with? Well, we're still in the thick of it. I haven't I was I want to book a cruise, but I have no money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously I paid off this all my good. debt. So we're still in the thick of it now that like I I wanted to get this done earlier, so I kinda like cashed in a little bit of like my savings and stuff. So we don't have a lot of so if like shit hits the fan in the next like month or two, hey, we're probably back where we started. But I'll give you a loan. But like, yeah, I mean, I think that's where it kind of stemmed from. We were like, we have the cash, like let's just do it. And then like, if if something happens mm-hmm. that we need the cash, it's like my parents, Janie's parents, like you guys, like somebody would somebody would give us money if we yeah. Needed, fuck if we the Dave it. Ramsey fucking yeah. What does Dave Ramsey know? Why don't you guys come to me for bad financial dad advice? vice fool? The bad dad vice fool of literacy. Yeah, exactly. fuck Dave Ramsey. Exactly. Sorry for cussing. But I, th- I like that. But I yeah. think, um, you know, it's crazy. It's like we paid off twenty thousand dollars in debt in ten months, nine months. Yeah, it's October now. So in nine months, we paid off 20, over twenty thousand dollars in debt, and so like that tells me, right? Like if my math is right, that we should be able to Buy save a save twenty thousand dollars in a nine cruise. months. Right? There you go, baby. So like nine months from now. I should have twenty thousand dollars. So that'll be but your. But I'm probably not gonna have twenty thousand dollars. I'll probably like go on like four or five vacations and like do, be crazy and like do whatever. But no, you earn for, for one year. You're crazy, for one man. year, oh, you can do it. For one year, I'll be crazy <laughs> and spend twenty thousand dollars, and then like the next year, I'll save twenty. Yeah, but you could save fifteen. You could be crazy for five. I'll save. I'll save like twelve and just do. Be, okay. be we'll, reckless with eight. We'll ex- we'll accept it. Yeah, nice. Yeah. We'll accept okay. It. Cool. Good deal. We'll good deal. It. So I mean, you time, did you did all that. You paid off twenty thousand dollars debt, and you already did a cruise this year. Yeah. yeah. Well, the cruise was part of the debt. <laughs> but you did the cruise. But you did the cruise. You made, you made a cruise I happen. I you could do I it again. I can go on. So the cruise is like great. The cruise is like already baked in. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. But that so, was part of the twenty. So month. next year you'll set a new financial goal. Can we? Can we? Can we hear a new financial goal like in next year? Gain um, twenty thousand dollars. That's a good dude. That's a good like. Just it's gonna be start. Well, o- open up a SoFi vault. It's gonna be. Oh, we gotta get Janie a new car. That's gonna be. So I'll be back in debt next fully, year. Fully paid no. off car next year. Yeah, save, save. Like buy a new car and pay it off by the next, end of next year. Yeah. Save, how long, like yeah, Janie needs a new car like now? Yeah, it rains in her car. Oh, yeah, that's not good. It's like, a rain, so it's so a, Janie, it's a Janie, and I, Janie and I make the joke that her car is uh, an indoor car. <laughs> so I've had to reorganize the garage so that her car can park in the garage. Um, and, and it can't be out in the rain. Because it rains inside yeah. of it. So next year, yeah, that's fully good. paid off vehicle. Yeah, I don't know. I she wants. I, I think she wants something nice. <laughs> she deserves it. She works hard. So um, and tell her to go into debt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kennedy, <laughs> does, Kennedy doesn't need to go to college. Right? She doesn't need to go. <laughs> 
Kennedy's college fund is dope. She's I th- she's racking it up already. She's been going to Harvard. All right, twice. this is the longest quick shot yeah. update ever. So Sorry, I had some big I had so some big updates. I didn't I wasn't expecting that was good that stuff. That was good stuff. Okay. All right, I, Robo, I, Robo, big news. Rock it out. Um, so we are going on our trip to New York next week. Uh, you are flying. In right? New We're flying. York. We're flying out. Uh, yeah. Wednesday Concrete morning. jungle. Where Time out. Time America. out. Have you seen Have you seen the video? Of the Hawk Tua girl Hawk talking about the Tua lyrics to that song. That yes. Oh my God. And I don't remember what she says, but I can't unsee it. Like when she's like when she says it and she hears it. I've heard sings, this. She sings it and it's like, holy shit, I think that's what they're actually saying. It's they're not saying concrete jungle where dreams are made of. They're saying something about a tomato. Insert in something with tomato. Like insert what Hawk Tua girl Wet said. Dream. Tomato, wet, L- some, lime green something, tomato, something, something wet dream tomato. tomato. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> I think that's what they're saying. Come on, what is it? Figure it out. I don't know. Don't let the audience. Don't leave the audience with such a cliffhanger. Caddyshack. <laughs> 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 that is good. Oh, dude. speaking of yeah. Caddyshack, when we were talking about who I looked like, Big Smo. Right. I that's, and then that I, is the I but like I, I think really. It's probably, probably Lizzo. Lizzo. I was probably in the, Lizzo. I was in the middle. Big X <laughs> Lizzo. Plug. That was funny. I was, I, was in the middle, the plug. I was in the middle of class when you texted me that, so I didn't. I didn't look up who Big Smo was. So, but I gotta look up Big Smo, dude. That's that so we got. We got Big. Like somebody put in the comments, does Robo look more like Big Smo, Jelly or Roll. Jelly Roll, or, or Lizzo, or Lizzo, or, or Lizzo, Lizzo. <laughs> <laughs> or Big X the plug, or, or Big X the plug, or Wait. Mike Wazowski. No, <laughs> Mike Wazowski. Close one eye. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> bro, come, come on, on. <laughs> come on, say dude, come on. So, Con- anyways, concrete we're, jungle. We're going, we're tomorrow. going to New York. Uh, we fly out Wednesday morning. Um, still trying to figure out logistically like how we're gonna get stuff there. Um, her parents are driving, so we're gonna throw as much as possible into their van so that we don't have to have a bunch of check bags and everything when we go. So I think, I think we literally might just be flying with like us. The girls, their whatever they need in their backpack, and then the car seats. Like that might be it. And then when we get there, rent a car and go where we gotta go. Um other update, we built the cage thing that you let oh, us nice. borrow. Uh that thing's dope. Cause now we can just like set them in there and just like yeah, th- cage go match. do things. Go take a shower. Yeah, go take a shower. No. Um Yeah, no, it was freaking cool. I was I was building it and Emily got really mad at me because it did, there was no instructions in the bag, so like I was like, ah, oh, no, I can I can eyeball it. Like it's it, one <laughs> one side is longer than the other. Famous last like, words. Right. So I put the whole thing together. I had four pieces left over, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, there's the bonus pieces. I'm like, IKEA Emily, where, does the same thing. Where the fuck do these go, dude? Like they don't fit anywhere because there was like two bars on the top that didn't connect into the T. And I'm like, well, this piece doesn't fit in the T. I was like, there's no, like, if I put it in the T, it doesn't connect right. Like, this side's now, like, way stretched out, and I was going to, like, rip all the fabric. She's like, just read the instructions that I sent you. <laughs> <laughs> she sent me a PDF of the instructions. <laughs> you go, you don't get it. Okay, she, you don't she get went, it. She, went, she found the tag on the thing, Googled the exact model number, and the instructions popped up, yeah. like a PDF. Right there, new dad mannerism. Trying to build things oh, without the I mean, dude, I had my jorts and my new balances on, and I was like, yeah, I got it. I, dude, got, it. Got, <laughs> it. I got this. I, I refused to use instructions probably like 10 years ago. I don't think I've been okay with reading instructions for yeah. quite a while. Yeah. To like, my detriment. To my they're detriment. Too, they're and too bossy. Emily, yeah, like, Emily sent that to like three of her girlfriends. Like, this freaking idiot didn't read the instructions. Because like once I read the instructions, I was like, Oh yeah, it goes together in like five yeah. minutes. Megan is. Very I had to pull the entire thing apart because I had the T's in the wrong places and yeah. some of the bars in the wrong spots. If, if that was me, <laughs> I would have just been like, "It's fine, it's fine." We're I said leave, that. I was like, leave it. it's "I was fine. like, no, 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 right. it's good." Yeah. <laughs> and like it, and when I sent, I actually sent you the picture. I was holding yeah. the four pieces, and the thing was like fully built in the background. I'm like. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. We went to go move it, and like, like, we oh, got it like six inches, and like all the bars like collapsed in. Uh, I was like, okay, yeah. Me- Megan is big. <laughs> Megan is a big like follow the instructions. Bam, 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 bam. It it ends up being exactly the way it's supposed to be. 
And it's like she just calls me over if it's like if one of the steps is just like pissing her off, she'll call me over. Otherwise, it's like leave me alone. I'm building a cabinet. Like leave yeah. me it, alone. It always goes faster when you just follow the directions too. Well, like yeah. yeah, of course, because you don't have to like take it back apart. But it's like, I think I think you have. <laughs> it on. reminded well, me. I think, of I think building, you have. It reminded me of building my dressers. Yeah. <laughs> I was building. I was putting my IKEA dressers together. IKEA didn't worst. read the instructions. Was just like fucking just popping screws in left and right. Just like yeah, we got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Boom, boom, boom. I put a screw because like IKEA, the screws are literally made to only fit that one right. hole. I used a screw that was too long, and on the front of one of my dressers, it like poked right through the freaking front of the dresser, and everything was. I'm like. Oh yeah, we're good. And we set it. I pulled it up and set it up, and I saw the screw facing me. And I'm, Emily's like, "Dude, you just we just fucking bought this yesterday." If there's one thing, <laughs> also, also, sorry, I, I hate to interrupt, but this is also what you did. Uh, you put in everybody, anybody that's ever built an IKEA cabinet knows that there's two sides to the base of a drawer. <laughs> Robo put the one of the like two or three of the drawer upside down. So when you look in the drawer, it's it's like a rough, like. It's like rough where you, and then if you looked under the drawer, if you held the drawer up, it's like a nice surface. It's like the green and white, <laughs> and the like, green and white stripe. So I a typical. Like I built a, I built one of the drawers and I showed it to him, and he's like, and I was like, looked at it, and I go, that's not, that's in. He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, that's upside down. And he's like, well, I'm not taking it all apart. Like yeah. I'm not, I don't care. It's just gonna hold my underwear anyway. Yeah. I just like shoved it in there. <laughs> So if he pulls out his drawers, I guarantee that at least one of them is correct, and the rest of them are wrong. I correct. actually, I actually saw that the other day, and it reminded me of that because, yeah. like, I, it's actually three drawers. There's only six drawers on the yeah. thing. If <laughs> there's one thing that you have to follow the directions on, it's something from IKEA because so follow. many of those things. I didn't follow them. It works just fine. I'm just, I, I no. know, but some, so many of those things are made to where if you follow all of them, it literally fits like perfectly together yeah. and everything has to come if you do one of those things out of order by the end when you try right. to put the last piece yeah. in you're trying to put a triangle in it's, a like, it's like if i'm yeah. doing it yeah. my dad's like i'll just get a drill we'll drill. i go there's no way <laughs> <It's just laughs> built something that you need to like get Add a drill hole <laughs> you got a dremel we'll just get the dremel <laughs> <laughs> i don't started. need the dremel the ikea <laughs> it should work i i started following <laughs> i started following directions <laughs> i was, I was uh, good. Uh, yeah. I was in high school, and it was like we were we were building. Uh, it was like Christmas Eve, and my step brothers were. What are you doing, step bro? Yeah. What nice. are you doing, step bro? My step brothers were still like my step brothers at this time. They were like young. That's and such like, a reckless sound. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> My stepbrothers at the time, they were still like young and like Santa was still a thing. So like so like it was like Christmas Eve and we were out with Santa's real, by the way, everybody. Let me just for those of you listening. <laughs> Santa, was, <laughs> Santa was still a thing. Santa is still a thing. Kennedy, if you're listening. Um but the uh so it's like it's like the throw the basketball off the roof kind of thing, like, oh, it's the reindeers, they're landing. Like shh, shh, shh secret time. Um <laughs> Um, but we so they they got a trampoline for my stepbrothers, right? And so it's me and my dad and my brother. We're out in the backyard. We're building this trampoline, and it's like you put all the bars together. You put all, and then the last thing you got to do is the the fucking springs, oh, yeah. right? And so we didn't follow the instructions. We should have the instruction. If you follow the instructions, it's like opposite, you do opposite. you do this like this one and then the opposite one and then <laughs> this one. Well, me and my brother and my dad were like, we just put the fucking springs up. We'll just go in a fucking circle. <laughs> and so it's like, you know, whatever. there's 50 springs, right? And it's like 49 of them yeah. go on with no issue at all. But that 50th one, if you try to go in a circle, it's fucking impossible. Well, you're and trying it, to do 2,000 pounds. It's of, fucking impossible. I mean, torque. it was like, and they give you like this little like, you know, metal clothes hanger thing, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. And it's like a hook. And it's like me and my brother are like sitting on the trampoline like he's holding me like yeah. fucking bobsled style i got my feet on the fucking bar and we are pulling this sprint string as hard as we possibly can and can't get it to hook and and and, and, and you know that like 10 springs away from there you're like i know this isn't gonna work yeah like, and you're like but i'm not yeah. right i'm right. not, as, I'm not as, we're getting, all as we're getting closer yeah. you're yeah. like you're like Man, I'm really having to, like, to no, pull some of these. Like you could tell that these it's are not getting heavy, bro. Yeah, I mean, like <laughs> in in fairness to me, like growing up, like my dad never read instructions, so it was we always had like 
six screws left over from everything yeah. I did as a kid. Yeah, that was like, just the bonus. Everything I ever... Bonus screws. Yeah, we had a bunch screws. of bonus screws. So it was like... I I still think I did it oh, okay. You, like, I, I, I was so... We were so bad is my dad would go like, that screw doesn't even work. I'll just get my own screw. <laughs> <laughs> screws. <laughs> and you're like, I don't think that this thing I'll is could, a... I don't think this is a kit that just requires you to use are one you of your... Are telling me that Ikea gave us the wrong equipment, Dad? He's like... <laughs> Hey, get me a nut and a bolt out of I go, we don't need nuts and bolts. We don't need them. Where's the washer? And all of a sudden, all of a sudden the dresser becomes like a dining room table. <laughs> well, you've all seen it. Yeah, like, Dad, this is supposed to be a dresser. Oh, I thought it was a fucking you see there's, ottoman. There's like seven washers stacked, and like one of them is like completely like like corroded. And you're like, it doesn't matter. Just I just need to buffer it. We just just buffer it. It'll be fine. You're like, uh, dude, I don't think. And then, like, it works for the next 10 years. Yeah. Like, it, they never fell like, apart. Like, and then you go, like, who cares? My swing set always worked. Right. Like, like uh, there's a swing set. In I got my tetanus back- one time, yeah. but whatever. Yeah. 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 There's like, a swing set in my backyard. That wasn't because it was missing screws. It was because yeah. I had too many in there. Right. <laughs> there's literally a wooden swing set in my backyard, my childhood backyard, that's been there since I was eight years old. Like, it's still standing. I can't, can't believe it. I'm yeah, still <laughs> standing. I can't believe it. But yeah, nice. still there. So. What's up with you, cowboy? <sighs> um, yeah, so I got a couple. Uh, we're obviously, uh, as you can tell, he's slept a little bit better recently after Don't last last that. episode two weeks well ago. Rested. Yeah, I was dying last episode. Um, we are in full blown turd mode now. Like we are out of the baby diapers, and we are into turd logs coming out and nastiness and all, the, which kind of freaked Tiff out. Because we're so used to seeing, like, you know... Oh, Tiff's never taken a turd? Girls don't poop. Girls don't poop. Yeah, it's true. Smart. Um, Tell Kennedy that. <laughs> but uh, we're so used to seeing, like, wet diapers and stuff. When when she started seeing, like, actual, you know, like, human turds coming out, she was like, something's got to be wrong. It's like, nope. Pretty sure that's just supposed to happen. That's just poop. Yeah. yeah that's poop. Really? It's poop. <laughs> <laughs> Record on a you, potato again. Did you just did you just <laughs> put that did on you there? Play a soundbite of yourself. Yeah. You wait. You he made it because he knew on. this was his update. Right, you no, that's been <laughs> yeah, on there. That was a premeditated <laughs> oh sound clip of you set up for your update. <laughs> that was actually on there for the last episode, but there never came a time to use it. Play that's it again. Let's all enjoy it. It's you know poop. <laughs> <laughs> that's hysterical. Um, I can't remember what was going on when I said that the other time. Uh, but that's from a previous episode. I mean, clearly. Um, he called the shit poop. <laughs> called the shit poop. Um, other things. That was uh, from the Caddyshack conversation. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Oh, Caddyshack. Yeah. Caddyshack. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, God, I can't, I can't think. Um, your foreign own fantasy. Foreign own fantasy. That's just. Crushing. I don't know how that isn't your first upstate. I mean, geez. I mean, yeah, that, that trope is coming home. Uh, I'm, I didn't yeah. mean that. Yes, I didn't mean literally. That. I didn't mean that <laughs> fantasy gods. Literally, um, take it with you. Yeah, but um, uh, another thing I guess I can get into is uh, we all went to the zoo last weekend. I forgot about that. Yeah, the zoo's we, dope. we we did a we did a the bad dad dope. advice zoo's family dope. trip to the zoo. Oh, you guys missed the good. This part. is this is what I'm getting. You into. guys left. You missed the good part. Yeah, I, um, heard, I heard the good part. So I don't know if you did. So, um, anyways. We all did this stuff. It was a fun day. We all uh, got over there, got to see all the animals and everything. Um, Trey and Robo left early with their uh, wives and kids and stuff. But um, Abs was waiting for his wife. So we were like, you know, let's get on the train. We'll go to the front, um, ride it back around. We'll see the t- uh, tigers and stuff like that and hang out for a little while longer. So um, it was time to feed. So, uh, you know, Tiff during the train ride you know put him under the jersey because we were wearing all jag stuff because it was sunday and um fed him on the way up fed him like he was feeding the whole way back and then we were like all right let's do this we get off the train and i go through the gate very first time ever in seven months landing projectile vomits all over me <laughs> <laughs> yeah he it was gross. It was a geyser of vomit. I don't know if it was motion sickness or what, but it was a geyser. And it was one of those things. It was probably one of the most more athletic things I've ever done. I caught almost all of it. 
And it's one of those things. It's like you don't know what you're gonna do. It's like, oh, do I like try to avoid it or do I try? Why to is that athletic? Yeah, dude. What? Well, no, because it happened so quick. I was just like, tell you what, <laughs> Cardwell can put his foot in his mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Both of them. That sounds like a Boston pizza moment, also. Yeah, so it Guys was, dude. It was so bad. And and Abs had walked forward, so he has no idea this is going on. Well, I was going to meet. And me. I'm sitting there. I'm like, Tiff, help. And she didn't see it. She goes back. She was like, Oh my god. And it, it was I just had an entire arm and and body full of puke, and so she's just like handing uh, wet naps at me. I'm like, that's not gonna do it. Yeah. I don't know what. So we're like walking up, and I walk around the corner because Tiff just took the baby to like go to the bathroom stuff. I walk around the corner, and Ab sees me just covered in puke, and he just starts. Dying laughing. <laughs> so yeah. funny. He laughed hardest I've ever seen him laugh for probably like two minutes long. And I'm just oh, standing there. I'm like, all right, I gotta I gotta go find a bathroom. So did, he, did, he, did, he, did he start with the quiet laugh where he just goes? It no, it was the immediate. It was the immediate. Hysterical. No, it was the immediate. Head goes back and just laughs to the heavens. Oh, man. It was so. Abs funny. is also the kind of guy that would be like, "Hey, everybody, look at this guy! Look at this idiot!" <laughs> and like say, like a, it wasn't a baby. It was like him threw up yeah. on himself. This guy threw up on himself. The train made him sick. This guy came and handled a little train around the zoo. <laughs> oh yeah, Ma! I think I think it was. Ju- <laughs> Jesus, I hit the wrong button. Um, <laughs> ah! Yeah. <laughs> I think it was uh, a little warm, and then he really drank a lot of milk. I think he drank a lot, yeah. yeah. But he was fine after that. We had a good rest of the time, uh, fine all the way home, fine the rest of the day, all that stuff. Um, We did that night. I think uh, Tiff texted all the wives and stuff. He was just like, we were sitting there about ready for bath time, and um, we found a tick on him. What? Yeah. We found like, like a little, like, it wasn't like like sucking on him or anything, because it was like, but Tiff saw this little thing, and she like pulled it and it came off like and she was like oh my god i think this is a tick yeah so i think she texted the wives and was like hey might want to check your kids just to make sure i don't yeah. know I wonder what like you think he got it at the probably zone? got it from the the uh, the train ride. the herpes monkeys we got at the jackson when i left the zoo i had a note on my windshield because somebody smashed my passenger mirror off my car yeah, that's wild trey was excited he thought some that's so funny and like number. dude i, no, I thought you, i got what? a ticket i thought i was like get out of the, i was like what Cause you know, there's a guy up front. He always says like, yeah. hey, "Do you have tickets?" And yeah. I always say yes, even though I don't. I thought I got a ticket for like parking illegally or something. <laughs> I was like, "Oh so no, fun. a ticket!" And then I read it, and it's like, "I smashed your mirror. Uh, text me, I'll pay for it." And he, t- he he texts me back. So, oh, okay. Shout out Andreas. As long as he, uh, yo, shout yeah. out Andreas. Come as on, as, as, as long as he does it. As long as he pays for it. It was his kid's. It was his kid's second birthday, right? I don't think he realizes how much a mirror is on a Raptor. Gonna be expensive. Yeah, it's gonna be expensive. Um, it's like, I gotta go look. At, is it still fucked up on your car right now? Yeah. I'm gonna have to go look at it because I can't. I don't know. Like Janie was telling me, she's like, because Janie's mom dropped her off at the zoo, and she's like, did something happen to Trey's truck? I was like, no. And she's like, yeah, I was like pulling up, and I saw them, and he was like really looking at it. It looked like his mirror was fucked up. I was like, I was or somebody else was. You were looking at it. She said. Oh, when she got there? Yeah, because oh, you had yeah. just left when she showed up. Yeah. Yeah. I I actually went and looked at it because Trey was like, dude, what the fuck? And I'm like. All right. I don't know how you just torch like, a mirror. I know. Well, yeah, that was that was my thing. It's like I went I went over there and I was like, well, at least they didn't like scrape down the side of your right. truck too, because like, yeah. imagine like you probably wouldn't have left a note at that point. The <laughs> but the, like, yeah, the I'm funny not buying is, a new car. The funny right. thing like, is, um, after that, um, because we stayed behind to get annual passes because it was like way cheaper doing it the same day. And when we were walking out, you guys were driving out at that point, and you just like Trey just rolled down the window. And he's like, "Hey, did you guys get him?" We were like, "Yeah, we got him." I didn't even notice a mirror hanging or anything. I didn't. No, that was me. That was him. Oh, that was you because they were long gone. Because they yeah. were already left. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. Have you seen? So don't ever call yourself <laughs> Jason Kelsey again. Yeah. But <laughs> have you seen? Have you seen the? Uh, I've seen ones where like people leave the note and like you read. It's like a picture of the note. It's like this is the note that was left on my truck, and it's like. Hey man, I hit your car. I'm writing this note because other people saw me, and I want to make sure it looks like I'm leaving a note. But uh, fuck you, catch me if you can. <laughs> like, <kind of> thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that's it's just. I mean, if you would, I never would have known. I mean, I never would have done anything. It would have been like I would have been out however much money. Uh, yeah, the scrape down the side. I'm assume like I don't know how he could have done it because there's like a like lower right hand corner of the wind of the mirror looks like that's like what was hit, but it was like the whole back was messed up and the mirror itself was messed up. 
I genuinely like in have a no parking one. spot. That's like, like it had to yeah. just be like a door, right? Like a, like the door opened. Just no, because like I don't both know. sides of the mirror were. It was like up. it's like really messed up. Like yeah, it was like it wasn't like oh it's just the just glass. It was like yeah. the back, like everything. Yeah. So I think like maybe he like had a dually and he had like a his mirror also got messed up. Could like, we get this guy on the podcast and just ask him what happened? That'd be funny. Because that'd be really funny. I mean, you, didn't you say on the note like it's his kid's second birthday? Yeah, yeah. Did, he's yeah. got kid. He's got kid. Like it's, I should tell him like listen to the pod. Yeah, dude. Yeah. We you should. should you should definitely. We definitely need to get him on the pod. That yeah. Like, oh, after yeah. after he pays for everything, be like, hey man, I really appreciate That's it. That's so funny because I was thinking like we'd have to call him, but he lives here. He's like went to the zoo. Yeah, yeah. We, like, should just have just yeah. Yeah, yeah, we should have him. Yeah, we should have him on the pod. That'd be funny. Yeah, yeah. All right, Andres. We should show up to your house and be like. Bro, fuck you, man. Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm, paying for I'm paying for your fucking beer. Maybe that'll be the episode we film at Voodoo. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah, give him you know, on the Boo Yeah. yeah like. Side note, uh, we have talked about that. We're going to have to talk to everybody, see if we can get something together and do a, a, a away from the house pod. We have, have the like, technology to do it. I mean, it'd be pretty dope and like just do like a we could do like a two hour pod and have like a couple guests come on. Yeah. yeah. I think we should do it'd like fun a, to do a live pod. We could yeah, do we could do a we do all we do them all live. Yeah, we do. We could do a live. We could do it live. We um, could watch a game. So yeah. So I do have watch um, Saturday, Saturday college football day. I do have one more thing. Uh, not an update. Well, it, kind of an update. But I have. I know last week I had a uh, a study, but I have one. I have one more here today. Oh, this ought to be good. I'm gonna start another one. Um, Can we you get a little more enthusiasm than what you yeah, gave last. Yeah. No, no, no. This is actually pretty sweet. Good God, um, man. So <laughs> we. <laughs> We did. Uh, I'm so, so tired. Read, I was read this so study, tired. <laughs> it tells you that like guys do this. And then, like, like, when you have kids, uh, parents have kids, and then they like want to kill themselves. They go into depression. Like, so they want to kill themselves. <laughs> I literally couldn't tell if there was a bit going on. Yeah, I was like, "Is this a bit?" And I'm just not getting it. <laughs> Fat <Dogs>. check that. <laughs> Fat check. <laughs> All right. Um, anyways, so the last two days we have introduced uh, peanut butter. Okay. To the baby. Um, just That's trying new stuff one. and everything. Yeah. So ties into this. The reason we tried it, we we saw this sur- this um not survey. Uh what am I thinking of? Article? Um, article um study? Study. That's the word. Uh that came out recently um that uh the <laughs> you okay, Robo? Yeah, dude, just keep going. Yeah. So um up in the United States right now, we are survey. having <laughs> Survey says peanut butter. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, where is it? <laughs> Anyways, um, there it is, so th- apparently there's been an explosion of peanut allergies in the United States over the uh, last decade, and they're starting to now believe that it, you know in the '90s when we were kids, and you know the kids after that, um, the uh, pediatric association and everything were saying don't give your kids peanut products because they have that risk of hardcore allergies and stuff like that and some people you know you might not be able to make it to the hospital um so a lot of people waited until like two years old to start doing peanut products um this study shows that introducing peanut products to your kids at five to six months old um and then letting them eat it you know as time goes on here and there till they're five years old decreases the risk of peanut allergies by 72 percent 72%. Seventy-two percent. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> is that the whole? Is, it, is that the study? That was that's, the survey. Yeah. That's that was all. The, that's that was, all the, that was a big thing. Yeah. That you, mean, didn't, was, you didn't read the paper. <laughs> you didn't well, open well, that. The, the, I, I I tried to print seven pages, and it <laughs> turned it up just being a picture. A piece of page. A <laughs> Three piece of things paper. to know. <laughs> Look at this. It's a fucking it's a video. Video, dude. <laughs> it's got a play button on it. <laughs> he printed a motherfucking video. <laughs> Dude printed a video. What, what are we? What are we? Nineteen ninety one Walt Disney, bro. <laughs> I was gonna say it printed hilarious. Clip he, arts? he printed out six hundred pages, like a little flip book. Oh my god! No, you have it's to, like, not. Flip it. And play. It's not a video. It was like a thirteen page. It has a play doc. button. It has a play button. That's I know. a video. It's it had clearly a video. a video. But there was a thirteen page. Okay, hold of, like, on. Hold. Text. So what's hold all this? On. Hold on. <laughs> Why did you hold this piece of paper? Yeah. <laughs> if you knew it was a video. <laughs> it's poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How are we doing on time? Uh, we're at 58 minutes. All right. Good. All right. Let's get on what I want to do. Because in honor of the 50th episode, in honor of the 50th episode, 
I said on the last pod that we should play a game, and I made one. Okay, oh, are you? Wait, baby. did we finish? Is that? Are we good? Yeah. So, uh, so introduce your kids to uh, peanut products real young. It's do you want to keep this? <laughs> no. Okay, thanks. No, I'm going to watch that later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Comedic timing. Comedic timing. Wait a second. All right. Wait a second. What, 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 kind, what type play a game. of game? It's a game. We got it. All right. This app. This paper has words on it. It's a game. It's not a video. Hold on. I wrote this. We're not taking microphones and we're doing ding dings. We got a ding ding ding. We got like everybody's holding a microphone. We got ding, we got this, we got that. We got camera one, camera two, camera three, and we're digging in a microphone. Dude, don't <laughs> add your own clips. Come on. So All right. So, what I did today. <laughs> Was. I just imagine the guy like <laughs> Andreas coming <laughs> to him. I was like, game time. This guy's like, what the fuck am I doing the here? This is so is weird. I hit this guy's beer and they made so, me do his podcast. Sh- so in honor of the 50th episode, you know, if you guys uh, watch us on YouTube or uh, TikTok or Instagram or anything like that, you see that we we get a lot of like, you know, little clips, funny clips here and there, shorts and stuff. So what I did today was I scrolled through a lot of our uh, past shorts uh, in YouTube and pulled some of funny quotes from those shorts. And I want to quiz you guys to see if you know Easy. who said it. Easy, dude. Yeah, I, definitely, I, know, yeah. I think you guys are going to be pretty good. I, I definitely mean, I, know every single one of these. I've seen all of them. I think you guys are going to know all of them. This is going to be a stupid game because we're going to get everyone right. It was Janie's idea. She's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> This was JD's idea. I don't even know why. Wait, we wait, wait. Ab said that one. Yeah. <laughs> I love the. <laughs> he goes, who, who said? My wife is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. But this is really funny. This is really funny because, like, I was going through this and I'm like, some of these were from, like, Re- like our first episode, right, let's do it. Let's and it do was it. like it was really funny. Just like reminisce on some of these things. This also gives the oh, audience. I cannot wait you know to what? hear. I I'm be- the Caleb Williams of. I got. I got. I got. I got. I got to be honest. So this is good because for those that this might be their first episode, this gives you a little flavor for yeah, yeah. what's in and, the vault. And it's there's way more than what we have here. Oh, like yeah. I just I just picked. Like oh, let's do it. Let's do eleven it. or twelve. All right, number one. Are we all answering? Are you going to ask one person or how, uh, how's it going to go? I'll just, yeah, we'll just go one at a time around the room. Like, how many do I have total? I have 13 total. So, so like you're we'll going to ask me? Yeah, only? yeah, yeah. We'll start with Trey. Okay. All right, Trey, who said this? I'm nervous. <laughs> you can't even read it. <laughs> <laughs> I did. As I was going through this, I was dying today. <laughs> do they make bunk bed strolls? <laughs> <laughs> About that, dude. <laughs> That's every, bro, every single one of these I wrote, I was like, oh my god, I forgot we said that. <laughs> do, Wait, do, do they make bunk bed strollers? <laughs> Who said that, Trey? I kind of like thought I forgot, but it's Jaime. Yeah, it was hard. Though. I like I like for a second in my mind went, I could see Robo saying it, and then I went, wait a minute, I could see like abs also saying it. <laughs> so that was actually kind of tough. Yeah, all right. All right. Here we Hi go. Me, Hi me, Good. Yeah. All right, Cardinal, your turn. Oh, Here's the next one. You know what's really interesting to fans? Doing math about time zones. <laughs> <laughs> Great line. Remember this when we were talking uh, about the games in life? <laughs> Great line. Great <laughs> line. Well, I know, I know from that type of humor that that had to be Trey. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> what was that about? You were doing math about time zones. You we were trying to figure out the nine thirty. We were ta- well, we were talking about like our audience in, in Japan, like London or whatever. Like, oh, so like what, ti- what time is even there? So like, oh, well, when they play nine a.m., it's like a two o'clock game. Or yeah, that's fine. All right, here we go. All right, Robo, who said it? You really shouldn't have a dad bod <laughs> in the delivery room. <laughs> Dude, these are fire. These are fire. Yeah, I was dude, dying. We're I was fire. dying. We're on fire. <laughs> we're on fire, dude. We're on fire. That was Trey. That was Trey. Yeah, uh, he said it to me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> All right. Wait, was it you or was I it? Said, I said, yeah, I've been working on my dad. This bottom. one, bro, this one killed <laughs> Before me. I it, had the was, it, was it you or was it Big Smoke? I think, I think it's not. I don't, think it's, it's I, don't, I don't think this is fair because all mine are clearly digs at people. <laughs> <laughs> and like that's. Okay. Yeah, and Jaime's yeah. are just going to be like dumb shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, all right. Let's hear it. <laughs> this is Jaime. All right. All right. Ready? <laughs> ready? The statues you see in the museum, like the statue of David. A lot of women probably wanted to have sex with David. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that, Trey? No, I thought that was you. Oh, was that? Did you answer the last one? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that was you. Yeah, that was you. I, I said that. Yeah, that was me. Oh, Why are you pointing? You, it's my, it was my go. Oh, I thought it was my turn. I thought no, we you, you answered. It. All right, we can snake oh, no. it. No, no, too late. Too, oh, late. too late. No, no, we'll go full circle. It doesn't matter. All right, uh, the next one. A lot of people wanted to have sex. <laughs> a lot of women probably wanted. He didn't have a dick. That's funny. Well, tiny, no, tiny well, dog. Tiny dog. well, then it kept going. That at first he had a huge dick, but then they kept chiseling <laughs> it kept back. Chiseling it back. <laughs> no, I thought it was they kept touching it like it was good. Yeah, it's like it's it like a bronze, <laughs> like <the> bronze statue. <laughs> <laughs> and why wasn't? It, why weren't there any fat guys? Because they wanted to save Marvel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, all right. Here we go. Uh, number five. You don't need call me daddy. You need the Dad Vice podcast. <laughs> oh, that's actually hard. That's kind of tough. Um, I'm going to say Trey. No, that was no, you. That was you. You said that. Yeah, because when, you also you were named saying, the podcast wrong. You were saying call me. You were <laughs> oh, saying call her call daddy. You were saying daddy. call her call, call me daddy, daddy <laughs> when it was call her daddy. Oh, and you're we right. All, and we you're all right. laid into you. If you would have read that with the, a better emphasis, I think he would have got it. I know. I know. Yeah. Sorry, uh, uh all right, yeah. so Cardwell, that that was Cardwell. All right, <laughs> hated that. <laughs> All right, Robo, your turn, right? Who said this? <laughs> Fuck Thomas Rhett. <laughs> <laughs> Abs. <laughs> no, I was trying. No, I think that was me. No, that was you. Yeah, yeah that was me. Tom, yeah. Thomas oh, Rhett. that that sounds like such an abs no, thing though, because he always says. Oh, you know what? Fuck Josh Blazer. He didn't give me a job. <laughs> yeah, fuck <laughs> Josh Blazer. Because I said when I'm when when we when met, met him, Thomas that Rhett. he was like, "Yeah, man, you just oh, yeah, got to breathe. breathe. Just got to <laughs> breathe. Just got to breathe." Oh shit, Thomas! Right? I totally forgot. To I think breathe. I think every quote that is "fuck blank" is me because I pretty much uh, say that unless about it's Blazer. <laughs> yeah, or I don't, Dave, yeah, no, that's it. Or that's Dave, Ramsey. Dave Ramsey. Or Dave Ramsey. Yeah, or Dave Ramsey. That's him. Yeah. All right, uh, number seven. So is that is that on me? Yeah, this is you. So you guys just uh, so I'm up. I'm up two. I'm up two to one. Let's go. All right, Trey, you're up. Let's go. All right, who said this? I'm gonna look so weird walking into this place with a bandana on a stick, a Yeti cooler, <laughs> and forty pillows. <laughs> oh my god, I kind of don't remember this. I do. Read it. Read it again for me. I'm gonna look so weird walking into this place with a bandana on a stick, a Yeti cooler, and forty pillows. I know this one. Is it me? No, no it's it was Robo. Robo. Uh, talking oh, about all, tailgating. Talking yeah. about tailgating. all the stuff he's gonna bring to the hospital, <laughs> uh, like Tom Sawyer. The fucking <laughs> I couldn't think of the great context. Tom Sawyer. I couldn't think of the context. Tom Good. Soy, right. dude. You guys got a chance. I gave you a chance. Tom You're back Soy. In it. Tom Soy. Oh. You're back in it. All right. All right. Here we go. This one's for you, Cardo. <laughs> yolks with salmon. That was me. I said that. Egg hey, yolks with salmon. <laughs> all right, uh, Cardo. Who said this? Is novices the right Hold word? On. Is Tom Soy the right reference there? Is it Huck Finn? <laughs> well, who is He's it? Huckleberry Finn. Tom Sawyer. What about Tom Sawyer? Tom Sawyer. What is is Tom Sawyer the like guy with the has? Th- I don't know. Tom Sawyer is the yeah. guy in the song. How <laughs> the thing? Tom Sawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Today's Tom Sawyer, me mean guy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, all right, uh, all right. Cardwell, who said this? Is novices the right word, or would it be navai? Another tough one. Oh. Um, I'm going that uh, I think that he was playing off of uh, Avatar. I think it was Trey. Uh, it was Robo. That was me. Yeah. Damn. Was Sounds Robo. like a Robo thing. Robo said that. These are tough. These are tough. Some These of them are. Tough. This one had me, had me laughing pretty good, too. All right. Uh, who's up, Robo? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, Robo. Who said this? <laughs> 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 say it, dude. Say it. <laughs> if he's laughing this hard, it's probably him that said it. Uh, no, maybe I don't know. 
I don't know how big a bottle of nipple cream is. <laughs> Cardwell. Uh, it was Cardwell. That was Cardwell. It was Cardwell. <laughs> <laughs> it was card up. That was I uh, remember. That was uh for oh, no, what was over the price, the price is wrong. Them. The price is wrong. The price, price is, is wrong. wrong. Oh damn. Yeah, we got to like, play that you again. You were like yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said I don't know how big a bottle of nipple cream. You said it was like $27. Is it like, is it like Neosporin <laughs> or is it like toothpaste? <laughs> Yeah, like you were. Th- yeah, I think you said like thirty dollars, and it was like four ninety nine or something. Oh like man, that. yeah, that one was funny. Yeah. Um, Trey, this one's easy. Okay. Uh, is it a human sized dresser or a baby dresser? <laughs> so two, one, one, or two, one, two, right? Two yeah. for me. Two I've right. only missed one. I'm yeah. saying two I've points, two. one point, two oh, points. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All right, Trey. Who said this? Live, laugh, love. Right? <laughs> if they needed love to be first, they would have said it first. Come on, dude. Yeah. That's I, uh, that one was super easy. Dude, like, yeah. Skip it, skip it, skip it. You got thirteen, right? <laughs> you got you have thirteen total. Thirteen said? total. So that's that's the odd one out. Okay, we all right, know we'll that's abs. We all yeah, know yeah. that's abs. That's easy. Yeah, that one was uh, that was just like scrolled through. Um, all right, uh, back abs, on me. I just wanted to like hear people say like, "Oh, right. dude, that's funny." Right. Nah, I, I just shut right, up. I'm gonna go. Classic. I'm gonna go again, dude. Just shut. I'm gonna give up the. I'm gonna give up the easy one. I'm gonna give up the easy one. Trey, who said this? Here he goes again. If he laughs, it's either me or him. Yeah. Trey, who said this? Freaking IHOP kept me up last night. <laughs> <laughs> Though I feel like it could be me in any given night. I'm going to say Robo on that. That was Robo. Yeah, that was Robo. <laughs> Freaking IHOP. <sighs> All, right. All right, Cardwell, who said Sa- this? Salvage yourself here. Oh, man. So that means that I'm out. Oh, I, I mean, I, I'm still going to play. I can't win. Oh, can't shit. win. All right. Cardo, who said this? <laughs> so you got to keep track of how many times you take the milk out of the fridge. Like this milk is re re refrigerated. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, that's. Oh. Oh, I, I want to say Trey, but. Oh, good, good, good content. <laughs> good content here. Um. Great I'm gonna go radio. with abs. No, that was you. Yeah, <laughs> what are you thinking, dude? <laughs> it's you. You in the refrigerator? You kept calling it a refrigerator. You called it a refrigerator. You calling you it a idiot. refrigerator. And we said, no, you're refrigerating it. He said, oh, so it's a re 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 refrigerator. How do you remember I that? Still, I still think that's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you call it a refrigerator. He wait, doesn't. wait, wait. He side note, refrigerator. Side note, we had somebody. We had somebody uh, talk shit on one of our recent shorts. Because um yeah fuck that guy because I said D thaw yeah yeah D- he was like he's like yeah you fucking right. idiot isn't D thawing mean freezing right to D thaw something it's yeah thawing un- out yeah what's thaw, thaw mean what are we gonna D D D thaw no what does thaw mean it means thaw right what does it mean tell it me to thaw it out right and what does that mean it means it's frozen it means the same thing as D thaw <laughs> <laughs> wrong it means the exact opposite as D thaw. What is what is like? Is that true of any other word? That's it's it's like it's like yield. You know what? And Let's get D, this guy on the pod. And D yield. D oh, yeah. yield's not. I a take word. back what I said. Not fuck that guy. Fuck Cardwell. Yeah, yeah dude. Cardwell's an idiot. <laughs> like D. Yeah, All D right. thaw. Yeah. You fuck on me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Last one. All right, last one. This is for the tie. Last one. Here you go, Robo. For the tie. I don't love naked grandmas. I just love the clip of naked grandmas. Naked grandma. I love I love that. It's so funny. Abs. It was me. Wow, that's a big pull. <laughs> I did not know that. I did not. How know fun that. was that? That was good. That was good. I like that. That, that was, was my good. idea. That was it was my idea. It wasn't Jane's idea. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like it? Did you get the clips or did she source the clips? No, I went through them. I went through them today, and actually, it was like. I was late picking up Kennedy from daycare because I was sitting on the kitchen couch. <laughs> Clip, kitchen clipping table. us laughing at our old clips is so meta. So, because so, we're gonna do that, dude. It's Rizzler. Yeah. Yo, how about that picture of that shirt I sent you guys? The Skibidi yeah. Rizzler? No, the, the oh pic- Jesus dunking the basketball. He is Rizzling. <laughs> it's literally, it's literally, like this kid wore a school picture day. It's school picture. <laughs> he's standing in line to go get his school picture taken, and he's got a fucking shirt on that's Jesus dunking a basketball, and it says he is risen. Oh R I Z Z I N. Oh, so amazing. Um, also, kids are hilarious. Also, we did have somebody finally comment on that um, who has outkicked their coverage video. Ooh. Oh, really? Who yep. was it? You. Whoa. Really? Yeah. I'm shocked by that. Whoa. That the, person the direct, does that mean that the direct, or does that mean that you're ugly? I've the direct kicked. comment was, it's you, bud. 
Oh, uh, mm. It's you, bud. It's true. Are you guys coming to my uh, party? No. Yeah. You're not. You guys are coming? Yeah. Because nobody texts me that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> nobody responded. It's like, it like, <laughs> it's like 40 minutes later. He's like, hey, guys. So, like, is, is any. He respond, replied to his own text. Hey, so, like, is anybody coming? <laughs> Steven Glansberg, dude. Yeah. Wait, so, I might right. come. What do you What do you have for? Nice. <laughs> nice. Um, what, do you have, what do you What are you making for food? Uh, M&M casserole. I don't know. Probably some Probably some bacon and some eggs and some sausage. Waffles. If you don't I'll make waffles, I'll probably bro, make some. I'll probably have a waffle bar waffle set up. Makers. Yeah. I have one waffle maker. You have the other one. Oh. Uh, I'll probably make waffles. Uh, I don't know about pancakes. I don't know. Typical breakfast food. Hash browns, maybe. B Y O W I. Bring in waffle iron. Uh, All right. Anyways, so um. We're going to get rid of this uh, podcast. I don't know why I said it like that. That was really weird. Uh, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> thanks to our friends. This over is why we can't go much longer than an hour. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks. <laughs> we, got, we got football to watch. Uh, thank you to uh, Beer Stick. Uh, as always, uh, thank you to Voodoo Brew Pub Jacksonville. Uh, if you're ever in the Jacksonville area or you live here, go there. It's the best brewery in Jacksonville. Family friendly, of course. Um and if you want to join the daddy club, you can uh, follow the link under the video on all the platforms. Uh, no limit on the donations. You can do as little or as much as you want. And it's all going to go right back to the podcast. And uh, we'll make this thing better. We'll also probably put that link down for the uh, our buddies GoFundMe for um, his family up in North Carolina. And uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it. We're going to uh, elbow, elbow, knee, knee our way out of here. Yeah.